Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at film simulations yet again. This is part four. If you haven't seen the other parts, definitely get up to speed with them right now. Check it out. I think I'll link a playlist somewhere up in the corner there uh, and then come back to this one. So the purpose of this video is to go over the new film simulations that have been released since the last video that I did. And I think uh, it's the Bleach Bypass the uh, Nostalgic Negative and the Reala Ace. So we're going to mainly focus on those three film simulations in this video, but we'll just do a really quick comparison and, and showcase of the previous film simulations at the start. So without further ado, let's go jump outside and let's go take photos of a scene using all the color film simulations that Fujifilm has to offer. I'm going to going to really cover the black and whites per se. You can go check out my old videos for that. We're just going to be focusing on the color profiles for now. So let's go. We just found this interesting alleyway in the city. Um, in the back of me, there's some really nice colors that have got like blues and reds and yellows. So I took the time to set up the X106. We're going to do some test shots. Uh, of all the color simulations so we can go ahead and compare them later on straight out of camera JPEGs and I'll show you guys the difference between each one. So what I did was set the ISO at the lowest possible number so you get the best quality image. Uh, aperture's at f16 so everything's in focus or almost everything's in focus and then I'll just adjust the, the shutter speed to kind of balance out the exposure. Um, set the timer on two seconds and that's the standardized way of how I got about shooting these photos. We're going to start off with Provia. Provia is standard. It's slightly stylized but overall quite even color saturation and contrast. Moving on to Velvia. Velvia is very punchy and saturated colors. It has slightly more contrast than Provia does. Moving on, we've got Astia. Astia blues are slightly more pronounced in Provia. The orange looks a little bit less vivid and there is slightly more shadow than Provia. Here we've got Classic Chrome. Classic Chrome colors are more muted overall compared to Provia and the overall image has a slight green shift and it's more obvious in the blues and shadow areas and there's slightly more contrast. Pro Negative High, in my opinion, is the most true to life film simulation. Pro Negative High has a realistic color rendition with a slightly punchier shadow area detail. Pro negative standard, same as pro negative high, it's got a very neutral uh, color rendition and it has much less punchy shadows than pro negative high does. Classic negative is the most stylized film simulation. It has a very clear split tone look with the highlights looking very warm and shadows looking very cool. The highlights have been raised and the shallows have been enhanced. Overall, it has a certain vintage film look. Okay, for Eterna, when you put it next to Provia, Provia actually starts looking very stylized. But when compared to Pro Negative Standard, Eterna is an even more muted film simulation and there's less overall contrast and very slight overall warm tone to the images. Now we have Bleach Bypass. Bleach Bypass is incredibly desaturated with an increase in highlight and a slight increase in shadow. And it gives the overall image a very dramatic, gritty and moody look. So for Nostalgic Negative, Nostalgic Negative is similar to Provia, but it has an overall shift to a warmer hue. And there is a distinct change to the orange colors in Nostalgic Negative that gives it a very pleasant pop.
finally, we have Riala Ace. Riala Ace is more close to the look of Pro Negative High than Provia, um, with less overall contrast, slightly more pronounced blues, and a touch warmer in tone. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. This video is not sponsored by Squarespace or Skillshare. I enjoy making videos like this, you know, teaching people about film simulations and whatnot. However, I do want to let people know that creating videos like this doesn't come easy. You know, it definitely takes a lot of time and effort to put these things together to, to show it to you guys in the most easiest way possible and easiest way to digest and learn. So if you want to support me in some form or another, definitely, you know, head on down the link, buy me a coffee, buy me a few coffees if you want, um, or go visit my site. I've still got a few copies of my zine left. You can support me through there. Or if you're not financially capable of doing any of those things, that's perfectly fine. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video and definitely write down in the comments what you found useful uh, about my videos. And that would be, you know, the best thing possible for me. So thank you guys again and back to the video. All right, so we've taken a look at all the color film simulations that Fujifilm has to offer to date. Now you might be sitting here wondering, well, Jay, I have an older version of the X100 camera or, or an older version XT whatever camera. And how do I get these new film simulations and apply it to, you know, the raw files from my uh, other Fujifilm cameras? If you don't have the latest version of Capture One, you do need to update it to the newer version that supports the X106 and all the new film simulations uh, that then you can apply to your older Fujifilm RAW files. So let's get started. Okay, first what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new folder. This is where we're gonna paste our duplicates. Next, we are going to locate the folder where all the files that we need to duplicate are, which is in the Capture One folder from your program files. So we're going to go to the local disk, program files, capture one, and find the film curves folder. And this is where all the film curves are located. So we're going to copy out a, a few files. There are two different file types. There is FCRV and there is a P1X. So first we're going to grab the P1X files from the Fuji GFX 102 because the Fuji GFX 102 has the film simulations, Eterna Bleach Bypass, it has Nostalgic Negative and it has Riala Ace. So what we're going to do for this example is copy all the Riala Ace P1X files from the GFX 100 Mark II and we're going to paste it in our spare folder. And then we're going to find the FCRV file which is the X100VI FCRV and it's the Riala Ace FCRV file. So we've got all the files now. What we're going to do is we're going to rename the FCRV file from VI to V because I'm using the X100V. And then what we're going to do with the P1X file is we're going to change the Fuji GFX 100 Mark II to a X-Trans 4 sensor because the X100V has an X-Trans 4 sensor. And then in the uh, P1X files in this folder, the Fuji X-T3 is the representation of the X-Trans 4 sensor. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace all the GFX 100 Mark II naming to the Fuji X-T3. And that way, so when we load up Capture One and we select Fujifilm X100V, it'll detect the sensor, which is the Fuji X-T3 X-Trans 4 sensor. And then it's gonna go, oh, it's got Riala Ace in the Fuji X-T3 sensor. So we're gonna apply it to the Fujifilm X100V. So that's basically it, right? If you have uh, a, an older camera like the X-Trans 3, you can still do this. Uh, sensors older than the X-Trans 3, I don't think you can do this in Capture One. So make sure you have an X-Trans 3 sensor or up. And make sure you apply the same uh, P1X files as you would 
um, the same sensor, megapixel sensor as, um, you know, your camera. And I'll, I'll show up a list on the side of which cameras go with which P1X files on uh, the film curves folder. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically just copying in the nostalgic negative one. I'm doing the exact same thing to the nostalgic negative. I'm renaming everything. Um, because the X-T3, because the X-T3 has bleach bypass, I didn't copy the bleach bypass in. Uh, it's weird, X-T3 has the bleach bypass, but the X-100V doesn't. So here I am just going through and I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. All right, so now we've got everything renamed. I, I've just finishing up renaming the Fujifilm Eterna Bleach Bypass and the Fujifilm Nostalgic Negative for the X100V. So now we've got all the FCRV files and we've got all the P1X files. What we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of these, we're gonna copy them, and then we're gonna paste them into the Film Curves folder. And uh, you just get need administration access. And yeah, everything should be copied in. All there is to do now is close these folders, open up Capture One, and now I'll just select a image from my uh, existing gallery here. I'll just pick one of these with color, I guess. Okay, so we'll go with this one. So now, because this was shot on an X100V, if I go to style, you can see the curve tab just underneath there. So if I go to curve, you can see now Riala Ace is there. Nostalgic negative was also there if you caught that. But wait, let me let me just uh, adjust this first. Let me take away the preset that I applied to it. I shot this in black and white. So let me change the white balance. Okay, so now we go to curves. You can see that it, we got Eterna Bleach Bypass. Now it's there. We've also got Nostalgic Negative. It's also there. Awesome. And then finally, we've got Riala Ace. So that has been successfully ported into Capture One. So now when you have like any X100V files, you can now apply these three new film simulations onto your photos. All right, that just about covers everything. I know it was a lengthy video, but I hope you guys got some education out of this and I hope you guys learned to appreciate Fujifilm film simulations just that much more. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.